Hey guys, how are you guys all doing okay? This is going to be a video really for Fusion 360 for a friend of mine who needs to cut holes at particular angles through a part. So I'm going to cover a few different ways of doing that from the just the standard, I've got a nice flat surface, Going to I want to put a hole through that to creating different planes at different angles on the part so you can get the, the hole to go through in the in the right direction that you want it to go through the part. And we're also going to look at creating holes that follow a particular path through a particular part. Maybe there's something in the way and it has to go round to get a wire, wire through maybe or something like that. Without further ado, let's get straight in, into that. So the first thing we're going to do is just start off with a nice, simple square block. So let's do that on here. I'll make it in the middle. Just So let's create it 30 by 30. Right click, extrude, 30. Nice square block. Next, what we need to do is we need to think about how we would normally create a, a hole through that part. And what we would normally do is we need a surface or a plane to cut into. So we'd normally just press C, click on a surface, draw a circle, four degrees, sorry, four millimeters and right click extrude minus 30 cut straight through it no problem a lovely hole okay so back to our, our standard square what happens if i want to put a hole through let's say there now i can click on this surface and i drill a hole through there or i could click here and i can drill a hole through there or even here in that way but what happens if i want to do a dole diagonally straight through that line down to the side well, to do that, we need to create a plane at the correct angle. To do that, we're going to press the S key for the design shortcuts. And I'm going to type plane. And these are the type of planes I can make. But I'm going to use the plane at an angle. And that now allows, allows me to select a line. So I'm going to use this line here. And then I can tilt this, let's say, to 30 degrees. Click OK. And now I have a new plane or surface or plane is the technical name for this. And I can create my sketch on that plane. Type C, I can draw my circle there. I can highlight that and extrude through in the normal way. And there we have a hole with an exit hole at the other side. So your antenna would be sticking out here, coming out there. So that's that's easy. You can see how we would do that. Okay, so back to my cube. Supposing I wanted to put the hole right here on this point here. Now, I can't use the feature we just looked at because I've got no line that's exactly at this point here. So to do this, I need to create a, a plane that's that will be level the, the way I'm looking at the moment. And to do this, we're going to press the S key again, and I'm going to use the point along a path function here. I'm going to select this as my path up here, and I'm going to change this to be 0.25. So that's 25% of the line. So this being zero, this being one, so 0 0.25 is 25% of that line across. I'm going to have to do this three times. So again, points along a path, press enter. Hit this line. Now, notice the arrow is pointing this way this time. So I want 75% of that line. I want 75% because I want this uh, for this particular one, I want all these to be the same distance relatively to this to this point here. So again, we're going to press the S key, type point, point along a path. It's on this line, I was pointing up, so I want 75%. Now I've got three new points. And what I can do now is if I press the S key and type plane. You can see that we've got plane through three points. So I'll select this, select this one, and I'll select my three points. And that gives me a new plane at the right angle to take a hole 
fill that point. Let's try that. Create a sketch. I'm going to put, I'm going to just, rather than looking at it straight on, I'm going to just slide my design a little bit that way. So I can press circle and I can highlight this line, drag my mouse across it so I can get the exact point. And then I can create my circle here, like that. Notice how it's at the right angle in the part. Finish the sketch and extrude it down out the other side. Okay. Now, just notice on this one that I can change the angles of these by editing the feature. If I slide it down, let's say to there, then notice that the input of the hole stays in the right place, but this changes, the exit hole changes. So we could, we could theoretically, if I wanted to bring that across here now, I would change this hole. Further out, I think, to make it come out into the middle of the cube a bit. And I'm sure there's some great mathematics to make that come out right in the middle. But we're not going to do it that way. Let's look at a different, different way of doing that. So back to our cube again. This time, we're also going to introduce the mirror function too, just because it makes it easier to see what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line because I want to I want the hole to start here. Let's say, and I want it to exit down here. I'm going to create a sketch on this on this part here. I'm going to just get a line. I'm going to press the X key to it into a construction line. I'm going to just draw a line from there to there. Finish the sketch. Turn it around. Draw a sketch on this point. Just angle the cube a bit so I can line up with this dot. Press the C. Line it up, 4 mil. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish the sketch, press the S key, I'm going to use the sweep function, the blue sweep function. I'm going to highlight my profile, which is this circle, or half circle here as it is. I'm going to select the path as being this line. As you see now, it draws a line across there. Of course, that in. Now, I want to introduce the mirror feature, and the reason for that is because nearly everything I create, at least, is usually symmetrical. And if, if I wanted a hole here, there's no point creating a hole here and a hole here. You might just create it once and then mirror the object. It's very easy. Press the S key again. Start typing mirror. Highlight the body. Then highlight the mirror plane, which would be this bit here. And click OK. And now I have a mirrored part. And I think you can probably see it's not a very great example of that, but hopefully you can see how useful that could be. If we do our section analysis down there, then you can see that I've got a nice hole straight through the part. And it did occur to me while watching that back that you might not be in a position to use a mirror, you may have already designed the part, but still want a hole through the middle using something like that. So let's have a look at how we would do that. And let's go back all the way back here, back to our cube again, like that. And then let's go. So we want to create this time, I'm going to create an offset from here. So what I would do here, I would create a uh, plane. And I want an offset plane, which is here. I'm going to do it from this angle here, and let's just go. Well, we know it's 25, so if I go, uh, was it 25? Was it 30? Uh, 30, wasn't it? So if I go minus 15, and I'm in the middle, now what I could do is I could do the same as what I just did, but draw my line on there instead. So that would be my line input, output, really quickly. Be a construction line. I like the line press X. 
doesn't really matter, I don't think, but let's have a construction line. Finish the sketch, sketch, try that again. Sketch on there, circle. Four millimeters. And then finish the sketch. Press the S button, sweep, blue sweep. And I hold, and like the path. And there we go. So we've managed to put the the same thing, but this time we didn't use the mirror. We managed to get it actually inside inside the the cube. Okay, back to the cube again. Now that's great, but supposing supposing we had some reason why we couldn't just go straight across there because maybe there's a hole in the middle here. So doing a nice straight line to put our cable through here is going to foul this hole here, or maybe a metal part or something that I can't foul. So maybe I need to draw a a different type of line. So I can do I can do the same as what we did before. I can create a sketch on this part here. And maybe use this fit point spline. And I could let's come in from here and I could go and I could start drawing a okay. Now I'm gonna just tidy it up a little bit because it's it looks awful. I press the escape button. Make that, let's make that flow down there a bit better and flow to the output a bit better. Like that, nice straight line. Maybe maybe that's a little bit too backward curve. So that should do it, shouldn't it? That should that should get it down and around if there was a metal object here. Again, finish the sketch. Got a new sketch on this side not like that did that wrong didn't unselect the side i wanted it to be create a sketch on this side angle the part a little bit press the c key my four mil hole finish the sketch s key sweep blue sweep highlight here the bit i want to cut select the path Purposely, maybe angle slightly like that. Let's see what happens. S key, mirror. Like the body. Like the mirror plane. And there you go, that's our nice hole. But we've got this error here. All we need to do to fix that is go down here and edit the feature. And just pull it out a little bit further out the part that tidies that hole up and again if we just inspect and do the section analysis on this wall here we can slide that back and we can see that we have a nice tube that we can thread our our wire through 